It's hard to compare today's heavyweight boxing champions with those of the past, simply due to their enormous size difference. Jack Dempsey was six foot one and only weighed 187 pounds. Rocky Marciano was the same weight, but only five foot 10. They dominated the division, but they're cruiserweights by today's standards and small ones at that. In comparison, Anthony Joshua is significantly taller, and when he takes his shirt off, they look like average Joes. Tyson Fury stands almost a foot taller than Rocky and outweighs him by 50 pounds. The champs of the past just weren't in the same size league as the champs of today. But you can't say the same for Primo Carnera. Italy's only ever heavyweight world champion was huge even compared to the biggest champs in history. In the 1930s, the average height of an Italian man was five foot five, an American five foot seven. Carnera stood at six foot six, literally a full foot taller than just about any crowd he was in. Boxing had had a freakishly tall heavyweight champ before in the six foot seven, 235 pound Jess Willard. But the Potawatomi giant was a slow and lumbering, soft-bellied man. You can't say the same of Carnera. While the vast Venetian was only an inch shorter, he came in at 270 pounds, 35 pounds heavier than Willard. And none of that was fat. Carnera was 100% lean muscle, and the guy could move. They might have called him the ambling Alp, but compared to Willard, he danced like Sugar Ray Robinson. Carnera's footwork and hand speed was often as good as his much smaller opponents. But Carnera could also hit hard, really hard. Compared to every other heavyweight champ in history, his 89 professional victories was more than anyone until Ezard Charles became champ 16 years later. He's still number two, though, and his 72 wins by knockout is still the heavyweight record today. You can look it up. Carnera has more knockouts than Rocky Marciano, George Foreman, Mike Tyson, and any of the other knockout kings from the heavyweight division you can think of. But getting back to his sheer size, to this day there have only been three larger heavyweight champions than Carnera. It took more than 70 years for Nikolai Valuev, at seven feet tall and 328 pounds, to take over as the biggest heavyweight champ in history. Then it's Andy Ruiz at a much shorter six foot two, but considerably heavier, 283 pounds of what is obviously not all muscle. And then it's the much taller Tyson Fury at six foot nine, but only three pounds heavier, 273 pounds of again, not all muscle. Then it's Primo, the heavyweight champion in 1933, almost a century earlier, built like an absolute tank. This guy was bigger than Deontay Wilder, bigger than Vladimir Klitschko, and bigger than Anthony Joshua, and he knocked out more men than any of them. Primo Carnera was the prototype for the modern heavyweight champion, and the boxing gods still haven't built one as big or muscular since. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.